What is going on everybody? My name is Mr. Cap guys and welcome to Mr. Cap TV welcome to a brand new video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today guys. Today my day has been fantastic and I hope you guys day has been awesome as well. So what just launched today? I made a video yesterday. You guys showed mass, mass support and I really do appreciate that guys. But something came out today and I said it was coming out today would be a little, the first look at our second DLC for Black Ops 3. It is known as Eclipse. Treyarch launched this picture right here. You guys can see it on screen. It's called Eclipse. It'll be coming out April the 19th. My birthday is actually April 4th, so it's in April, which is good luck for me. Um, but it'll be April 19th, which is awesome. It's not that long away. It's pretty far away, but it's not exactly that long away. So I got the trailer here. If you guys want to see it in full detail, the link will be in the description. Um, so you guys can check that out. Also, is going to I'm gonna do a reaction video guys to the trailer uh, I've already seen the trailer one time but I actually want to watch it again and go through little snippets of it and show you guys a bunch of stuff that's about it so if you guys want to jump straight into it let's go ahead and jump straight into my reaction I'll see you guys there and let's do it so guys here we are we're gonna actually do the reaction right now guys now if you guys haven't seen the video I want you guys to go check it out if you guys haven't seen it guys please check it out the link will be in the description check it out before you check this one out because I'll be, I'm gonna be pausing a couple times in this video I don't want copyright strike from Activision or Treyarch and plus I want to actually break it down and talk to you guys a little bit more in depth about this so if you guys haven't seen the actual video like I said check it below in the description I highly recommend you guys do that before you keep on proceeding with this video so we're gonna jump straight into this this is the official Black Ops 3 Eclipse video that got leaked today if you, like I said so check it out guys uh, we're going to jump straight into this that's enough talk and let's go ahead and react to this so here we go the very first part um now this is pretty cool because if you guys see right here it says they're on a boat and one of my friends today at school you know we're in school we talk about it most times because I usually tell them everything that I figure out um, so we usually piece the puzzle together ourselves so when I actually did this I showed him this picture and he goes it's on a boat. You know the screenshot that came out that I did a video about yesterday, the little screenshot of all of them? He's like, it's on a boat. The floor's wooden. There's a rain, and they're outside. It has to be on a boat. And I was like, I doubt it'll be on a boat. I, I think it's on something else. But then he said, it has to be on a boat. I, I believe it's on a boat. But look here, guys. It's actually on a boat. So shout out to him for actually picking that out and figuring that completely out. Now, I mentioned that a yesterday, I think, um, was Takio right here. He has to take the same route that Dempsey took. Because we know that Timsey got put in the Summoning Stone. His other version did got put in the Summoning Stone. So I think that Takio will have to get put in the, Zom the Summoning Stone as well. Just because when Dempsey went into the Summoning Stone. They, the reason they're doing it is because they're actually going back in time. And that's why this fits in with the storyline perfectly. Because once Timsey goes, then Takio goes. And then I think Nikolai will be the next one to go. But this next map will be based around Takio, just like the other one based around Timsey. They'd probably be an Easter egg. I think there'll be an Easter egg at the main in this and there'll have to be a main Easter egg about Takio. Um so I think a lot of people will be figuring that out, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanna to talk to you guys about right here. We can proceed. Take it easy, Tack. And there's all the characters. Once again on the boat, like I pointed out. My friend pointed out actually, because on a boat. There's summoning stone here once more, which I thought was pretty cool because the summoning stone also fixed in the storyline because you know they have to get his soul or whatever. The Japanese people I don't think really understand that, but Rick Toffin knows what the summoning stone is there for. He knows that it is a a big, big thing, so you don't want to lose that summoning stone, so he must keep his eye on that summoning stone. So I thought that was pretty cool that for them to add this in here. There it is. We don't, speak, don't speak Japanese. We don't speak Japanese. Also, something else that I thought was cool. It says prologue right here, guys. It's official, you know, Eclipse. Uh, you know, no Shima prologue. This is the cutscene, I think, at the first of the other, with the map pack that comes out. When it does come out, when you play the game um, on Zombies, this is the map, this is the cutscene at the first of it. And my friend also pointed that out as well. He said it would be a cutscene. And I was like, I doubt there'll be a cutscene. I think it'll be a screenshot. It'll be a little teaser trailer. But we're actually getting the cutscene, which is pretty cool. I thought that was really, really, you know, something pretty cool that my friend pointed out as well. The object in your hand, it's going to bring you nothing but pain. Believe me, I know. There is the screenshot once more. Uh, this is the screenshot that I actually pointed out yesterday. I sent to a bunch of my friends, so you guys pretty much know what this is. This is a screenshot. It's outside. I can see where he actually got the boat uh, saga from, which I didn't pay attention to, but it does look like it's from the boat, and I think that he really had that pretty cool. So it does look like a pretty good scene here. We, once again, I pointed that out yesterday that Takio is, is getting restrained, so I kind of figured that he was getting restrained in this video. I pretty much like figured that. Uh, either way. I'm an 
envoy of the Emperor himself. And the end, this is the, you know, there's the boat once more. We're going through a lot of stuff here. Boom. He's losing the summon stone. We know that Richtofen knows what the summon stone is. He can't lose his summon stone. Looks like he's about to lose it, actually. Right here. There we go. Richtofen's learning that guy completely to pieces. There we go. There goes the summon stone. He better grab the summon stone. When I first watched it, I've already seen the trailer, guys. I've already seen the trailer, so when I saw that Summon Stone was rolling for the first time, I was like, oh my god, they're gonna lose the Summon Stone. But now that I realize, you know, th how can I lose the Summon Stone? Because this has to be, this has to fit into the st storyline. But when I thought they was gonna lose the Summon Stone, I was like, maybe we'll have to find it or something. But now that I see they did grab it, so it's all good, I guess. Um, here. He grabbed some of the stone, of course he did. Yes! A little too close! A little too close, son. A little too close, I'm telling you. We must go now! And this is the island. Now, if you see the name, that says Seto Zet Zobo or something. No Shima. Prologue. No Shima. It kind of reminds me of Shima Numa from World at War. It also reminds me of Shangri-La from Black, from Black Ops 1. Now, this is going to be an island map, guys. I'll show you right here. You guys see it right here. So, showing up here. Wait a minute. The island. So, if there's an island here, that means it's going to be island-based. There's actually a little screenshot of the eclipse. Uh, everything here. I'll show you in a few minutes. But, this right here is... So, it's going to be an island map. An island map, just like Shangri La, just like Shima Numa, an island map. So that's what's gonna be pretty cool. We've had snow maps in the past. We've had uh, also, like I said, Shangri La. Shangri La is a um, forest-based map, so maybe this could be an island-based map as well. And it looks like it is going to be. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool that Chuck added in here to us. Um, but I'm I'm really excited to see how this pans out to the storyline. That's what I'm most excited about. And, you know, we have all the characters, you know, sitting off to go there. There goes our ship. There and I'm gonna pause it right here when you guys see this part, right there, baby. Now if we actually increase. Let's freaking like make this bigger, boys. Let's make this bigger. So right here, you guys can see it says Spire, Knockout, Rift, and Verge, and then you have the Zombies map as well. Now somebody pointed that out in a video and said it was late. I didn't believe the guy because it, you know, if you look real close to that, it doesn't look like it's gonna be something in a Zombies map. But now that I see it, I'm like. Let's go. Um, Spy looks like freaking like you're in the clouds, which looks really awesome. Knock it looks like a Japan themed uh, map. Um, Rift looks, I don't really know what Rift looks, it looks like. Reminds me of freaking that one map from Advanced Warfare. Verge looks completely sick. You see waters, rocks, kind of looks like there's buildings on each side. And then you see the zombies map right there. And uh, hopefully, pretty soon, guys, we can get a full on trailer about all this. Um, you know, I think Treyarch will pretty much release that pretty soon. But whenever we can, and I actually want to zoom in. I got, got a picture here for you guys. I actually want to zoom in, in a little bit here. So if we zoom this in here, you guys can actually take a look at them. That's kind of blurrier, but you guys can see. Let's just take a quicker look. Um, if we zoom in a little bit more right there. So you guys can get a little bit quicker look into it right there, even though it is blurry. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, smack that little button below. You guys are great. I'll see you guys tomorrow on some more great content. If the trailer does come out pretty soon, which it does, this map will be, be, will be releasing on April 19th. Which I'm so, so hyped about. That's not that far away. It's kind of, you know, eh, but it's really close up to us. So I'm really excited about it. So more content will be in the future, guys, of this map pack. If the trailer comes out, more stuff like that. If I figure out anything else about this map in the future, videos will be up. So if you guys are new, smack that like button below and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on some more great content. Peace out, everybody.